In this video, we're going to learn how different HTML elements interact with each other and how much space they take in the web page. First of all, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it inline versus block. I'm going to explain in a bit what it means. Okay, let's close the files that we don't need. Okay, and let's import the content from the previous file and change the title to inline versus block. Okay, and let's uh, get rid of the body content for now. Okay, so let's review the different HTML elements we have covered so far. So we have covered headings. So we're going to create a heading. Okay. We have also covered paragraphs. So we're going to create a simple paragraph. And also we have covered uh, uh, links. So let's create a link and give it an href. Go into the Google homepage. And let's create an image and give it a source. Go into images, uh, picture.jpg. And let's give it a width of 200 pixels. Okay. And that's it. So, so if we start with the first element, so what we notice is that it starts with a line break and it ends with a line break. Okay, and also we can see that the element is taking as much space as possible when it comes to the width. Okay, so it's starting uh, there and it ends at the end of the line. Okay, even though it doesn't read, it doesn't really need all this space. But in terms of the height, it's taking just as much as much height as it needs. If you go to the paragraph, you'll see something similar. So the width, we take in the whole line and the height, we're just taking as much height as we need. And also the paragraph starts with a line break and ends with a line break. But if we move to the link, you will see that the link has got a very small height only what it needs and also a very small width only what it needs so the width of the link doesn't go all the way we still see that the link starts with a line break but I'm going to show you in a bit that the that line break it doesn't belong to the link itself and then after that we've got the image so the image is just taking the space that it needs depending on our attributes okay and also, there is l no line break between the link and the image. So, there is a difference between the heading paragraph on one side and the link and picture on the other side. So, the heading and the paragraph, we call them block elements. Block elements, they all start with a line break and the end of the line break. The link and the image, they are inline elements. So they just sit next to the preceding elements if it's an inline element. If it's a, a block element like the link coming out uh, coming after the paragraph, it still starts at a new line. Okay? So if we want to have a line break between the link and the picture, all we need to do is place a line break in there using the br tag. Okay, and now we can see that we've got a line break there. Okay, let's get rid of that for now. Also, if you place the link between the heading and the paragraph, you will see that the link now has got a line break before it and a line break after it, but none of them belongs to the link itself. The line break before the link belongs to the heading and the line break after the link belongs to the paragraph. So to summarize, Block elements, like headings, they start with a line break, end with a line break, and they take as much space as possible for the width. Okay, they take the whole line, and they only take as much space as they need for the height. Inline elements, 
like links or images they don't have a line break before them unless they come after a block element but the line break belongs to the block elements in that case and they don't have a line break after them unless they are followed by block elements but in that case the line break belongs to the block elements and also they take as much space as they need okay in terms of the width and the height okay so that's how we differentiate inline elements from block elements